Hello everyone and welcome back to Dangan Rampa Tree Happy Havoc. This time we're gonna go meet the new students, the, our classmates. So let's do that now after we've been. Why is everything purple? Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now I'll just head to the main hall. So those are just controls. We can also press the triangle button to bring up the map, which I'm pretty sure you couldn't do on the Vita edition. Or the PSP, whatever it released on. Right, I'm not going to use it though. I'm going to try and figure out... That was the dorm rooms. I'm trying to figure out... Right, circles run. That's the main hall. Yeah. I couldn't figure out whether we had to go to the main hall of the gym. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone was else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me was the ultimate students that had been hampered by the school. Looked around at everyone who had gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Inaiki. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was asleep. Huh? Whoa, you two? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond the shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is uh, unacceptable. Surely you were aware of the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it might be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's go get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance that I'm going to get. I looked around everyone, looked everyone up by the Hopi Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they're actually are. So time to find out. Right, out of each group of people, I've got to select them from my favourite character out of the group to the, my least favourite character out of the group. So you know where my priorities lie. So, well, my favourite character out of this group Easy, Toko. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko is the ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10. That got everyone talking and launched her literary careers. Career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be a masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest Ben pond. Pond. Despite her age, she's won countless literacy prizes, and all of her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young, intelligent author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, with all of her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? Well, it's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy, filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. N no, that's not what I'm thinking at all. I'm Don't bother you. trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise you. I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. W whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talking about an inferiority complex. I was way off track about what a successful author would be like. My next favourite character, I hate awful release. But... 
probably Taka. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. He is the ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honours every year. He's basically a flawless honours student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above or else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. Then I'd probably say Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? He is the ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star Give and all. Break. What? You were expecting some kind of. some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking to this little baseball player type. You know, I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is no, so not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of a national championship regulation. Wait, seriously? But now, I refuse to cut me hair. And I'm not going to diet back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He never practiced and he was still his team's star player. He's like some kind of prodigy. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only plan in life is getting to the music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is this that? The new version of me that chases after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from the baseball all-star. Next, let's go to the actual musician, Sayaka. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward to getting to know you. She is the ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively memorizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous for all over the country. In fact, she's our lead singer. As a ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. So she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? D did you hear me? Hi. I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> just kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh. Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Gee, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions of introducing yourself. Not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Psycho really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like I said, we can talk later. And then he threw me, probably my least favorite character I throughout this entire game. Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. He's the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am known as a supremely and well re regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Mm -hmm. 
Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tentated the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I am so if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend it greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. W what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It is about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Now the next group. My favorite? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, four of these characters are my favorite. But my favorite character. My. Third favorite character throughout the whole Dangan Romper series. Kyoko. Ki Kyoko. Oh my god, Kyoko. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kyoko. I have to be pronouncing up the wrong. The whole the wrong, wrong the whole time. I thought it was Kirijiri. That's how they pronounce it in the anime. She is the ultimate question mark. We'll find out later in the game who she is. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Peak Academy thread. And I did say that... I did see that there were students like me. One who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I have just meant getting invited to him means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. My four favorite covers in this game, Hina. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? If you recognize her voice actor, it's Cassandra Lee Morris, and she plays Morgana in Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, and Sophist in Fire Emblem Three Houses. And she is the ultimate swimming pro. And don't worry, I'll be, I'll, I will not be making any more Garner go to sleep jokes throughout this entire playthrough. That is saved for another playthrough. Another let's play. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking every record in every competition since she's been in elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Boobs. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Why do I like you again? Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is You got that. it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right yeah. now. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept right, repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Spell it exactly how it sounds. Hmm. Um. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Huh? <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sh sure. Same here. Naya, Nayagi, Nay. No. No, it's not exactly how it sounds. You idiot. It'll be N Y. Yeah, but it's Japanese. Isn't it? Well, one thing I've learned is she's totally easy easygoing and bursting with energy. Junko! No. Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. You'll understand at the very end of the game why everyone loves Junko. Or Hazel. She's the ultimate fashionista, definitely. Anyone recognize this one? She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... Feel that quite, doesn't quite match up to reality. What? 
Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, of course, they're totally photoshopped. Photoshop? Yeah, you know, Ed, how, how long back? We like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Then what can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of those cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they, ma they make the eyes and junk super big, and to tweak the skin so it looks so ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams getting crushed today. <laughs> My car to other crush, aren't you, Inko? Next, Chihiro. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. I'm scared. I'm gonna accidentally spoil one of the biggest things in this game just by talking about your hero. And you'll find out later why. They are the ultimate programmer. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet uh, you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which is an adverb to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Her, what are you apologizing um, for now? Well, just because you seem upset. You all seem mad at me, right? No, no, just at all. I just lost in fault about something. Huh? huh? Lost in fault? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Chihiro is probably one of the most standover characters in this whole series. I'm starting to understand why our fans are so into her. And then Mondo. Uh, I don't hate Games Mondo, but I don't like Mondo at some time. Nice to fucking meet you. He is the ultimate biker gang leader. I think who we got in our last bunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mondo Odad. Owada, huh? Which means he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earning respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word or I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Two of these characters, these characters. No, three, okay, three. Two of these, like these characters are 50-50. My second favorite character in this game, Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. He's the ultimate affl affluent prodigy. Or in Japan, he's known as the ultimate heir. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There really isn't anything I can do about it. Even though most of the, the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakia Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial... Whatever that word is. He's already started mag magneting business operations. And his own personal assets are, well, vast. His ultimate of ultimate affluent prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I've learned from him from that host speak academy I've read online. Come on! We've done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. We're a king in trading. If you've ever played Ace of Tony, Byakuya is practically the edge work of this game. Then... Probably hero. I I'm love Yasuhiro heroes. Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I hero will. Hero ranked 9 on the Watch Mojo list of most hated video game characters ever. Why? He's wonderful. He's useful. He's the ultimate clairvoyant. If you don't know what that means, it practically means fortune tall. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay. I give up. Huh? What You're happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. 
saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a cre crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Oh, that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskits sometime and get dive real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, that is 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, but that is a long story. Then Sakura. Sakura is also loved I am Sakura throughout the Ogami. community. And is shipped massively with Hina. She is the ultimate martial artist. Yes, that is a she. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she, if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she's completed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That Fred almost said a bit more. Oh, A bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The famed Missing Blink. Any incoming Code Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were ever exaggerating about that. Hey! Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right about that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act with my training partner. I'm not sure that's a shame for me. And then, last but not least, Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It's my last name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you called me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather that you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were true about her. The self-styled Celestia Lunenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her obnoxious law, love of graphic, lotty, lolly clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil, veil of lies. She, they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And that is everyone. And with that, all the introductions are done. And even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of them something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends with like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you see, uh, um, Dakota, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. But well, that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the glass and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that all about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <sighs> and there's the main hall here. The front door is completely blocked by some giant metal hat. What does this mean? Oh, but there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught off in some kind of, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like, like a kidnapping. 
Do you think maybe someone grabs us and holds us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come, come on. on. You don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all kind of the school's off orientational you know? procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it, it's not time for you me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a bit of little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. Then it began. Bing bong. I'm going to enjoy doing the ding bong bing bongs. Ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now, please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'm just going to say now, we're 26 minutes into the episode. Um, this series, this Let's Play, will have much longer episodes than that you have been seeing. Just going to say that now. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? You're just gonna take off with just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get a pumped up for an entrance and so no <laughs> Man, thank god it was just a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll add out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh... Damn, I was just totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they go have to go and kill the moon? Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> that is it then. I will see you all there. Anyway, not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna to go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That only uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe, but just standing, staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we don't do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? When were the checkpoints in this game? Right, um... I will see you next time for more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc where we will head to the entrance ceremony and see what's going on there and maybe, maybe meet an E I will see you then.